Take an instant and think how you personally feel about such subject as mathematics. For instance, boring, intricate, rather than captivating and impenetrable. All of the adjectives mentioned above reinforce some people relations toward this science. To be exact, four people out of ten in the US say that they cannot bear the subject. That's on the contrary how I would delineate the science. Beneficial, versatile, and logics improving. It's quite desperate, isn't it? Imagine traveling back to your school years. In most schools, teachers tended to overestimate math in students' eyes, and some obviously carry on doing that. Accordingly, I bet most of us has heard the phrase, mathematics is a queen of science. It's widely used by pedagogues from all over the world, and my motherland, Ukraine, is not an exception. My previous math teacher has mentioned it an unimaginable amount of times. To be specific, the whole quote by Carl Friday Gus sounds like this. Mathematics is a queen of science, and arithmetic the queen of mathematics. It doesn't dramatically decrease the meaning if we ask the remaining part. The meaning itself, I would state, is rather correct. In our childhood, teenage years, and even adulthood, most people cannot utterly understand and comprehend the sense, due to a common misunderstanding that has been going on in society for decades. Any ideas on what it could be? Mass is only numbers, shapes, and formulas. This is a well-known opinion among people of different generations, but why are humans convinced by that? After spending some time and observing the topic, I've revealed the foremost reason behind society's ideas on this account. The cause is hidden in the definition. Mathematics is an area of knowledge which includes the topics of numbers, formulas, and related structures, shapes, and the spaces in which they are contained, and quantities in their changes. These topics are represented in the modern mathematics with the major subdisciplines of number theory, algebra, geometry, and analysis, respectively. There is no general consensus among mathematicians about a definition for their academic discipline. Well, due to this abstract from Wikipedia, we can understand that our initial thought is being unveiled here. Shockingly for some people, but quite expected for me, this is false, according to the fact that mathematics reinforces naturally other things. So a significant question rises, then why instead of being the implement of boredom and captivation, intricacy, number, shapes and formulas, as people believe, mathematics represents fairly more than that. Moreover, what does it originally exhibit? First of all, what do you know about crucial cutting edge and necessary required skills in 21st century. Now employers have intention toward hiring flexible, multifunctional, and simply nearly flawless candidates. So here is the forecast of approximate traits appropriators are seeking for. Critical thinking and problem solving, teamwork and collaboration, professionalism, oral and reading communication skills, and last but not least, leadership are displayed on that list. You can enhance your professionalism by practicing. It makes perfect Teamwork skills require experience in group projects and common tasks, and communication skills are being acquired and gained throughout your lifetime and obviously on a daily basis. Leadership skills stand for the constant improvement and development of yourself as a persuasive, indispensable, impactful, and maybe excuse for the tautology leading member of the structure you are in. Critical thinking and problem solving are developed and practiced with the usage of math. Usual mathematical problems such as mom baking 15 cupcakes and eating one third of them can be considered useless and odious. Although by that, kids secure the problem solving skills. Basically, by learning how to gather the right data and how to manipulate with it in such a way that you receive the desired outcome. A knowledge withdrawal from solving quantifiable mathematical problems and analysis of statistics also helps people to evolve the capability to make decisions and prior the critical thinking itself. Secondly, how were you of the process of logical thinking development? It's one of the various things that can be ameliorated or obtained with the usage of this relevant science. An acknowledgement of mathematical concepts enable us to glance at more than just the ordinary number sense. And this later avails itself to reinforce the pathway toward mysteries and problems in finding the best suitable solutions for them. Logical thinking is truly a necessity owing to the fact that with its help, humans can manage to give out rational and objective conclusions by analyzing the situation they have faced. 
And last but not least, analytical thinking could be a synonym to mathematical thinking, if such existed. The concept of such brain processing could be compared to the separation of stored and gathered information in the illustration of mathematical equation. When we operate with parts of the equation with the usage of subtraction, division, multiplication and addition, we perform to analyze the relations between them. And the same scheme works in the human brain when we practice analytical thinking. This way of brain processing is also rather beneficial for memorization, and I can prove that with my personal example. For instance, when I have a lesson or I'm executing my conspectus of material I'm currently observing, in order to memorize it more effectively, I mentally separate the information into not arbitrary but specific groups. This later gives me the capability to study how they differentiate among each other or how they are connected. So basically, analytical thinking is about studying the relations between things. What would we generally be capable of without this precious science and tool? It's rather more than just distinguishing one sign from another, more than just operating and calculating with the help of numbers. Mathematics is not about numbers, formulas, computations or algorithms. It's about understanding. Its influence is about how it implies the constant development of a human brain and how you can use it in usual and unusual occasions. Not only I, but all people should start to consider math as the embodiment of versatility, beneficialness, and last but not least, logics improvement. My speech should have encouraged you toward changing your personal perspective on the eternal preciosity and necessity of this science. As Seven Panic once said, mathematics is the most beautiful and most powerful creation of a human spirit. Powerful due to its inalienability, beautiful for its value and implication. Thank you.